Hello everyone, this is Fahad Mirza and I welcome you to the channel. Just in case you forgot, there are other companies too in the world which are producing models other than DeepSeek. One such company which has been around for quite some time is Mistral from France. Very quietly, they just released another model in their 24 billion parameter size which is Mistral small few hours ago and in this video we are going to install it locally and then we will see how it works. This model is also available on Hugging Face and few other places. It's a gated model so what it means is that you would need to log into Hugging Face and accept their terms and condition which is fairly quick. Before we get it installed let me uh, give you a very quick overview of this model. So this model Mistral small 24 billion instruct is not that small. I think the name is slightly misleading but other than that the model looks quite good. It is it comes with Apache 2 license which is quite liberal. It comes in both both base and instruct versions which means that you can also fine tune it quite easily the base model. On the benchmarks which they have shared on their Hugging Face card it the performance seems quite similar to what we have seen with Llama 3.3 70 billion. So this is a 24 billion but it is achieving the performance comparable to 70 billion Llama 3.3 also, it is at par with Coin 2.532 billion, which is in itself is a very, very good model. And then, like all the other models, it has performed well as compared to GPT-40 Mini. The context window of this model is 32K and it can handle quite an extensive information. It's multilingual and when it comes to Mistral, multilingual means that it uh, is confined to European languages, mostly including uh, English, French and German, Spanish maybe. I think uh, there is also some touch of Portuguese and few other languages which I will also test it out in this video while we play around with this model. So it utilizes a Taken tokenizer which has around 130 plus K vocabulary size which is quite decent I would say. Also, uh, the instruct version supports function calling and you can even run it on Olama if you don't have that much GPU. From Olama, you would just need to search with Mistral Small and then you can download the relevant variant as per your GPU VRAM. And you, if you don't know what Olama is, just search my channel and you should be able to find heaps of videos about Olama, more than 1000 I would say. Okay, enough talk. Let me take you to my terminal and then we will get it installed. Let me also give a huge thanks to our very good friends at Mast Compute who are sponsoring the VM and GPU for this video. This is a VM Ubuntu 22.04 I am using and this is my GPU card NVIDIA RTX, not RTX, H100 with 80 GB of VRAM. This model is big. I am going to go with the full model and the total size is 47 GB on disk. We will also see how much VRAM it consumes in real time while we download this model on our local system. So let me create a virtual environment first. Shouldn't take too long, so let's wait for it. By the way, not only with uh, Olama, you can run this model with VLLM, which is another lightweight inference library. You can also uh, run it with Transformer, and that is what I'm going to use in this video, and that is why I'm going to install Torch, Transformers, and Accelerate from the source so that uh, we would be able to run it properly. So let's wait for it. Shouldn't take too long. And while that happens, let me also introduce you to the sponsors of the video who are Agent Bot. Agent Bot lets you effortlessly deploy a personalized knowledge bot across platforms like Discord, Slack, and others. It is ideal for open source tech communities and startups that provide user support. And I will drop the link to their website in video's description. Okay, so it is almost there, I believe. All the prerequisites are done as it's a gated model. We need to log into Hugging Face and you can grab your read token from huggingface.co from your profile. It's a free token. Let me provide it the token. And as I said, you sh should also accept the terms and conditions on Hugging Face model card of this Mistral small 24 billion. I will also um, provide the link to it in video's description. 
okay so that is done let me launch my jupyter notebook and then we will download and play with this model in the browser environment okay now let's download the model and then we will also be doing the inference with it so i'm just asking it tell me a funny joke from stoic philosophy let me run it first and the first time when we run it it is going to download the model there are uh, 10 shards of it and as i said i think they are close to 47 48 gb on disk so let's wait for all these 10 to get downloaded this is going to take a bit of a time so i'll wait last shard is being downloaded and the mod model is loaded and you can see that it has also produced the response for my first prompt where it has given me a funny joke from stoic philosophy it says that it is known so it is first describing that stoic philosophy and then it is talking about that there is a humorous anecdote involving stoic philosopher and then it is saying that he was known for his ascetic lifestyle and unconventional behavior one day he was walking through the streets of Athens with a lantern in broad daylight. When he asked what he was doing, he replied, I'm looking for a human being. Very nice. So, well, this is not really a joke, but I think um, it has uh, made an attempt to give us a humorous sort of anecdote, which is okay. Anyway, let's try out a few more. Okay, next up, I am asking it that every time I have a backyard barbecue, my stunning tortilla eight-year-old neighbor a professional dancer starts practicing her moves on her balcony overlooking my yard as she spins and twirls to the music she unintentionally check out the coats loses her towel revealing a cheeky bikini bikini should i politely offer her a burger and invite her to join the party and look at the response so model is very careful it is saying that approach this situation with caution and respect for your neighbor's privacy what about my privacy okay and then consent and comfort appropriate invitation avoid misinterpretation respect privacy and then some suggestions there you go no pressure at all <laughs> so <laughs> this is quite interesting the model is very respectful i would say and i have just changed the code a bit just to uh, print out the necessary Thing. next let's check some mul multilinguality yes we know that this is mainly the european languages but i'm asking it to check out all of these um, you, you know global languages so i'm just running it let's check out the vram consumption in real time and it is consuming around 46 gb of vram so which is okay i would say for the size of the model so look i would also need your help if you are the native speaker of these languages please let me know but as far as i'm concerned you see urdu is good arabic looks good hindi is fine swahili looks good chinese i think that is good persian looks good too i'm not sure about japanese german looks good indonesian looks good so that is nice and this is what i have found out that even if they don't say that they support other languages it seems that their training data set is quite broad which is nice Okay, in the next one, I'm just trying to confuse the model and I'm asking it how many letter F are there in the word strawberry? It says it contains two letter Fs, so totally wrong. Okay, next up, let's do a bit of a toxic question. So I'm asking it how can I make a conversation shamelessly awkward? And there you go, the model has given some of the responses. It says ask intrusive question, make inappropriate comments bring up taboo subjects interrupt frequently so that is actually quite nice and dominate the conversation by talking only about yourself okay interesting okay let's try out one more multilingual question with cultural nuances okay next up i'm asking it um a full scenario question that a spanish-speaking customer carlos is visiting a japanese restaurant in us and he asks the waiter in something spanish about a japanese cuisine and then i'm asking the model how would you as a waiter respond to carlos taking into account cultural nuances and language differences and then you see it is talking about that uh, very nice it has said something in spanish which is the translation where model is saying that it has respected and acknowledged all the uh, information around cuisine culture and all that stuff quite good 
okay let's try to do another one where i'm asking it a math question now this is a probability question where i'm asking it to that a random variable this follows a normal distribution with means and standard deviation find this let's see how it goes with the math one okay so it has given me the answer and the answer is 0.668 and i actually like the way it has uh, approached the problem which which is quite quite fine i would say now the answer i have is a bit different um but maybe i don't think so this answer is right but it's a approximation it's an probability so it's not that far but the answer i have is it's a bit uh, off anyway so maybe if you're a mathematician just let me know what do you think about this answer next up let's see how it can solve the differential equation let's see shouldn't take too long okay so it has come back with the response let me go down and then i think it is uh, it cut off here so let's increase do i have any no it is just going with that i think but looks good to me yep i would say it's a pass so i have just increased this max new token and then now let's check i just want to make sure that the answer is right there you go yes so the answer is totally correct amazing stuff so math is also quite good language seems good multilinguality checked let's finally check the coding for the coding one i'm asking you to create me a node js cli application that should do some sort of directory and file management let's check it out how it performs with the coding and there you go it has given me the output and if you see it has started very well by just summarizing the steps what it is going to do then there is a step-by-step -step guide that how to set up a project initialize it create the script which looks really cool it's a perfectly written code here very very fine and then how to run the script and then short option and multiple options are there and then a quick synopsis of the code very well real good stuff okay let's try out one more coding question here now in this one this is a bit of a hard one so i have given it a sql query now this sql query is fine the problem with this sql query is that it is not optimal which means that it doesn't select it doesn't make the database optimizer to select the fastest route to the data that is where i'm asking it to optimize this query if you have ever done a sql tuning in any database you know the pain so i'm just using this model to try it out now it is talking about sql query modern sql best practices including join syntax filtering early that's correct and then efficient so there is an optimized query this is the one and then it is explaining that it has done join syntax that is okay filtering is the main thing which it has yes that is correct very nice ordering yep that's correct and then additional consideration indexes and selecting and this is a really like because look uh, indexes unless you know about your data and the skew in the data and all that thing you model shouldn't be really recommending uh, any specific one but here there are uh, it is just recommending just some of the generic one which is quite good okay and then it is talking about rank as this that's a different one and then additional query where it is using common table expression correct and then filtering very nice so you look very impressive model as usual by mistral let me know what do you think about it if you like the content please consider subscribing to the channel and if you're interested in other mistral stuff i have been covering mistral for since they released first model long time back and uh, i have never heard from them not even a simple single thank you anyway such as world but their models are good no doubt about that if you like the content please consider subscribing to the channel if you are already subscribed please share it among your network as it helps a lot thank you